said in the last part of the episode or last episode, uh, some fun stuff has started to show up, uh, so I get to do some cool shit. Uh, today I'm going to be sanding the bonnet, uh, getting ready for some more paint, but I've also got this. Carbon fibre, 79 series style bonnet scoop. I'm going to incorporate on the new bonnet. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to start sanding the bonnet and then I'll six flex this down with some pot rivets, length set, and then I've got some uh, carbon fibre bog, I guess you call it, uh, and some normal body bog. Uh, blend it all in and make it look shmink. So yeah, let's get it. I can see you. Okay, cool. Is it recording? Yep. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, right, pretty solid afternoon. We've cut the hole in the bonnet, sanded it right back. Um, and if you turn the camera and have a look, it's sort of just sitting on there at the moment. Tomorrow, I've got a couple of pot rivets up the back, just holding it on there. And then tomorrow, the rest will go on and all the bog. The fill will start going in and look stretchy, as well as the sticky stuff. Sticky, sick of flex stuff. So, and then I'll try and hopefully, hopefully, get to paint it. Alright, if not, next weekend. So, slowly, Stay tuned. Slowly come together, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Right. Oh, that was good. A bit foggy. I'm gonna use that a wipe. That's how foggy it is here this morning. How good is that? I thought I'd um. I don't know, maybe it's the camera. I don't fucking know. Anyway, thought I would uh. I might redo this when it's brighter. Show you what I've got to paint. Just a bit of etch primer. Some mixed dark emerald pearl. That's the same colour code that's currently on the car. Some fiberglass filler. Normal bog, normal body bog, a uh, wax and grease remover, clear coat, spray gun thinners, uh, we mix and pot, we bog spreaders, we just call them, uh, and some real good sticky shit to stick the scoop down with. So that's this morning's plan. We're gonna go up, uh, stick it down, start bogging it up, uh, wait for that to set, then I'll stand it back, get it all as schmick as I can, get uh, maybe one or two uh, prep coats down, so primers down, and then paint it, see how it looks, paint again, see how it looks, and then clear coat it, and hope for the best, I suppose, so let's get it. Uh, the bloody air press has just kicked in. Um, I'm gonna be quick before this stuff sets, um, but I've just run a bead all the way around the scoop, 
and where it's hitting on the front of the bonnet. I've prepped it with wax and grease remover, about to flip it over, pot rivet down to let that set. Um, so let's do that and I'll show what it looks like after that. Well, I ran out of pot rivets, so I had to run up to the workshop and grab some more. Um, so I've had to drill out the two, the couple that I did have in there because the uh, sicker flex had set. So I had to get it off, throw it back, start again. Um, but it's on there now. Just got to let it set. A few pot rivets around the outside just to hold it in place. Uh, wait and see what it looks like. Uh, if I can cover them up with bog and that, otherwise, um, once it's set, I'll drill them out so they come off. Um, but yeah, so far, so good. It's all pretty sweet. Uh, looking forward to painting it, see what it turns out like. Woo! There we have it. Uh, pot rivet on, six flex is set. I've just run some of the carbon fibre bog around it. Um, as far as I know, that stuff will provide a lot more of your strength um, to hold it down, and then the bog will just be to fill in the holes to make it all nice, nice and smooth. So that, that should hold it there pretty schmick as it is. Um, used a fair bit. Almost used the whole, the whole little tin from Super Cheap. Um, I'll sand it back and I might put some more on just where there's more gaps, I suppose, like larger gaps like there. Sort of so like there's more fiber there hold it down better um, but we'll wait and see um, so yeah I'll let that set give her a sand and get back into it <laughs> okay uh, I had to break the big guns out I had to go get the big belt sander there's a little rotable just wasn't doing it properly oh not not that it wasn't doing it properly I just put way too much body bog in there so I just had to rip it out uh, pretty quick. Um, we've still got a bit to do here, just make it all schmick like this. This is how it's going to be. So it's, I don't know if you can see there, but do a step, try and get that step all the way along, get rid of all these holes. The front will be smooth and run in line with everything. And then so that side will be the same as that side. Um, a tip. Use as little, little bog as you can, because it's annoying to have to sand it all, but uh, yeah, we're getting there. Uh, I'll get it sanded up, uh, as best I can and show you once I'm finished. Um, yeah, I'll try and get it as good as I can. Yeah. Right, um, have a look at this first. It's almost done, there's just a couple little, I come right in, there's a couple little holes. I'm mean, just going to try and fill in, uh, but other than that, it's almost done. Pain in the ass job. I don't think I'll be doing that ever again. Um, but it's slowly getting it. It's starting to look pretty good. Um, so mix up a little bit more bog and catch up on the tiles. Don't need much because there's not a lot there. And the hardener, you don't need much of it, otherwise it will set real quick. And lift her up. Until it's the pinky salmon colour, I guess. Even there, I've got too much hardener in that. That's right. Teeth work. So you get the smooth finish. Smooth as you can get it.
All right, there you go, primed up. Um, you can see through the primer a bit, there's a bit of shit there. Um, that'll be all right. It's only gonna be a bush rig, it's no show pony, so. Oh, there's a bit of shit on me lens. Clean that up. There you go, primer on. Don't look too bad. Um, if you look closely, you see all, oh, up here's a bit better. You see all these, this shit. Um, I'm gonna have to sand it back, prime it again before I paint it, otherwise that'll show through. Um, so I'm gonna get a new gun, because this one is shit. Um, so I'm gonna let it, just leave it. I'll go and buy a new gun this week, and I'll finish it next week again, because uh, I have to sand this all back, so. Sucks a bit, I really wanted to get it done, but that's alright. Um, pretty good effort for a, for a day, I reckon. Um, so yeah, who was that? I'm gonna sand it all back. Like, try and get rid of all those flaky bits, I guess you'd call it. Uh, and I'll try and tidy all this this up a bit, make it look a bit neater. Um, I've been into town and I've grabbed a new spray gun because the other one I had was trash. So, open her up. Brand new -y, just from Super Cheap. I think it was about 100 bucks. Uh, gravity fed from the top, so that should be a bit better, and it's new, so hopefully that'll be a bit better. Um, but yeah, I'll try and show you what I can. It's just me out here today, I don't have, don't have the missus out here today to film a bit. So it's just me, but that's all right. I'll uh, show you as much as I can. Go, yeah, I've sanded it all back, so all those rough bits are off. Uh, and then I've put a little bit more bog, just where there was a few pinholes. Um, if if once I sand it back again, there's still pinholes. Um, yeah, I don't know. I might leave it. Like I said, it's only going to be a bush truck. It's no show pony, so it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. I'll try and get it as good as I can though. Um, so yeah, at the moment I'm just waiting for the bog to set. Um, I've just started pulling apart this steering box. There's a new seal kit there. Uh, I've replaced that O-ring here, but I don't have circlip pliers at the moment to get that circlip out. So tomorrow I'll uh, have some, we'll go get some to finish building that. There we go, everywhere's pretty sweet, except for the front here, there was just Heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps of pinholes. So I'll just put another bit of bog over it. <clears throat> uh, and while I was sanding, I got a bit carried away and did that. So I hope I hope it turns out alright on the bonnet, because otherwise I'll be driving around with this for a bit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, wait and see. Um, I think that'll do me for today. I've had had about enough. I'm gonna let that set. Um, so I'm gonna be down to do down at my house. So leave it at that and come back up in the morning. So. Right, oh, there you have it. Uh, it's not painted, it's still only primed. That's not super flexed on yet. Um, but yeah, I'll throw it on the car, have a look what she looks like. Um, I reckon that looks pretty fat, especially the grill there. Um, I've decided I'm not going to paint it and then clear coat it. Uh, and I'm gonna get a lot of uh, opinions, I guess, on this. Um, I'm actually going to wrap the line it, I think, um, just because I've tried my best and I'm no panel beater and I'm not very good at this, um, but you can see all the lines in the bogs and there's still a heap of pinholes and stuff in it. So I'm going to wrap the line the bonnet, see what that looks like, uh, and then I'm more than likely going to wrap the coat the rest of the car, just because we've wrapped it it hides a lot of the holes and hides a lot of the, the shit. So I'll do that. Um, start prepping this guard. And now this afternoon I think I'm going to take all the trims out, mirrors off, weather shields off and start getting ready to prep the rest of the car to Raptor. Um, I don't really know why people don't go much on the Raptor, they reckon it looks like shit and they reckon it hurts the resale value of the car. One, probably never going to sell it. Two, it's a bush rig, so if I paint it anyway it was just going to get scratched, so Raptor it is I think. Um, but yeah, there's not a hell of a lot else I can do today. I can't finish rebuilding this steering box because I don't have circlip pliers. Um, I've finished the front 
uh, pinion seal. I've done the back pinion seal. Not a hell of a lot else I can do. I could start prepping this bull bar. It's gonna get, I've decided I'm gonna keep it. I'll sand it back, I'll wrap the it. I'll put some flush mount lights in her, put a winch in her, um, throw her back on. But yeah, so that's holding up yet again, unfortunately. But we'll get some Raptor ordered and uh, get back into it. All right, one it's off again. Uh, just waiting for Raptor. I have ordered it, so waiting for that to get here to paint it. I've been bugging around in the Benjamin Bay. I've put the air compressor back in, started plugging my wires back in. Uh, I'm thinking about getting a different fuse box. So that's ugly. I'm just trying to make it all as tidy as possible. Um, it's a bit of an abortion at the moment. Uh, I took the window wipers off and that top bit off here. Because that'll be painted. Um, and I thought it'd be a bit painful to do on the car. And then I've, I've, I've done that. Um, yeah, it's on the ground. Uh, just so I can pull that snorkel off for when the radius fab one gets here. Uh, and I'll paint that guard before I do any of that. Uh, I've also got some new flares coming because on this one, it's all cracked. Uh, and then around this side, you've got here, it's all chipped out and missing. So I'm gonna order, order some new flares. I'm not sure if I wanna go uh, OEM replacements or Raptor, uh, not Raptor, bloody um, cut snake flares or just get some new fiberglass ones that are a bit wider. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm thinking I'll probably go fiberglass again just because I prefer the look of that over the cut snakes. Um, but yeah, so that guard's off. Probably gonna take that guard off because I'm half thinking about running dual stainers. I don't know, a bit of wank factor, but looks cool. So I'll get that guard off to paint it as well and hopefully install a snorkel on that side as well. Um, but yeah, looking uh, naked, coming along. And that guard's off too. I've got them both sort of half sent back. I'm gonna have to get a bit of, a bit more of a rough paper to get the clear coat off. Um, Cause I'm just clogging the papers up. I've got, I think I've got 80, 80 or 180. Let me check. 80 grit. So I'm gonna get something a bit rougher just to sort of rip through it a bit better. Um, but my plan is I'm, paint, I'm gonna paint the guards and the bonnet at the same time, uh, as well as this, as well as that. Um, and then do a closed door Raptor. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm eventually I'm gonna have to get the windscreen replaced as well, because the seal and that's buggered and leaking like a sieve, so. But yeah, pretty solid, uh, pretty solid weekend. I think I'm gonna leave it at that um, for this weekend this episode um so yeah hit that subscribe button head over to instagram give us a follow send us a message and get some merch uh head over to comprit's website and pick up one of these shirts i think they're about 50 bucks so that's pretty sweet um and yeah thanks for thanks for following us thanks for watching i hope you're enjoying it uh any tips or anything you want to hear or anything you want to see send us a message or comment down below and i'll try and get to it and cover it if i can so cheers guys